Ooh, yeah, it's got a little chill to it this morning. It's cold. Brrr. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? You guys miss us? <laughs> Sorry we didn't do a uh, Real Talk on Friday when everybody was here. Um, we were extremely busy all weekend. <laughs> yes, yes. That was uh, one heck of a weekend. Like, I don't even know how to describe it other than all hands on deck. Yes. And just complete and utter... Co um, I'm trying to think of the controlled best way. chaos. <laughs> controlled chaos. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. It was controlled chaos for sure. Yes. It was. It was good. It wasn't like chaos. It was. It was controlled chaos. Like it, it was uh, just so many uh, moving parts, right? Yes. So many moving parts. Um, we did do the trusses this weekend, guys. Um, it. I would say that it turned out exactly how we wanted it to. In the end, we're looking at it. It looks gorgeous. Um, it's done. It's. It's uh, braced up and strong and sturdy and everything, but oh. the day didn't go without a complete hitch. Um, we had to work things out. We had a plan on how we wanted to get it up, and then as that we're doing it, yeah, it changed, and then it, it changed again, and it was just <laughs> a lot of that. We're, but but as soon as we got the first uh, few up, we were like, okay, we got this, and yeah. uh, we got the game plan down exactly and everything, and. Yeah. It went really good. I would say it was a slow start, but yes. a bang out finish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of how it went. I would say we weren't really in the groove until like lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we had a really good groove and it was just like one right after the other. And yep. yeah, so huge, huge thank you to all of our friends, our family that came out here to uh, help support us and help us out with this day. Uh, that's Drew with Drew's Lens, Mike with Drifting Dreamers 5, of course, Anthony and Roxanne Country Road Cure, our good friend David, come on with the come on, and Mr. Tim, Go Ridge Life. Go Ridge Life. And also Mama V, Possum Run homestead and also Lindsay with into the mist yes so yes. huge thank you and shout out to everybody looking at you ladies looking at you gentlemen um very oh. very big help and without you we there we couldn't be have done it no me and gary would still be struggling with like no. our fifth joyce or something right now I, maybe <laughs> still the second like, i don't know <laughs> i'm i don't know i'm blown away with uh with the family and how we all just got, or how they all got together and came came out and, you know, helped us and put our stubbornness, you know, to rest because me and Melanie were definitely thinking, we're like, oh, we can, we can get them out there, you know, but it's between me and you. Which but, I won't uh, knock us, we can, we could we have. have. We'd still be working on it though. We um, still would it would be, be a lot more slow going. Long, long process. Yeah, if it was just me and you. And this gets um, us uh, that much quicker to a point where we're going to be able to dry in mm -hmm. a lot quicker so yes so I'm, a, I'm really happy with that oh i'm i'm thrilled <laughs> i will say um it was another long day everybody showed up and uh, we got to work right away yeah. we started talking about the day's plans and how it was going to go but it ended up being a very long day even with that many people um, working on it and that many hands on deck we were still working well into the night we had the lights go in and I gotta say, man, MVP of the uh, MVP of the day award definitely goes to Mike with Drifting Dreamers Five. Thank you, Mike, for yes. coming over and helping out. As, uh, thank you, everyone. Yes. But I will just say, Mike, man, he from the second that he got to the property to the moment that he left, he was busting his butt. And I was up there uh, getting things together at 6:30, mm -hmm. and uh, he pulled up like at 6:40. Yeah. And I was like, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah. We you know, weren't expecting there, you he, this early, yeah. but thank you, dude. <laughs> so, is there anything I can do to help, like, at all? I'm yeah. Like, all right. Uh, here's a tape measure. I need you to go up there and mark 16 on center on all of it. Yep. Like, from there to there. Yeah. And then do the other side from there to there. Because the last time that me and Gary were working on it, finishing up the back windows and that back wall, all the double top plates and everything, it was it nighttime was when we started, when we ended the day. Yeah. And so, we couldn't get up there and do all the marking of uh, the 16 on center. And so... I guess the timeline of like videos and like real life and stuff the Doesn't last it, well the last video you saw it ended at night when we were working right well the very next day we had that rainstorm kind of come around 
And so we couldn't go out there and do any more prep work. We knew that that was the last of what we were going to be able to do. That's why we worked as late as we did. And I tried setting up as much as I could here and there. Yeah. And even with Uber, like every time I got on Uber and started moving it around trying to set up the boom and everything else like that, start grinding. Yeah. And I was like, you got to be kidding me right now. Like I... I, I mean, I don't <laughs> mind working in the rain, but while I'm trying to do something for rigging wise, mm -hmm. I don't want all my rigging gear to get wet before I get it into that tight spot. And, you know, it's we're it pl definitely lot. playing whack-a-mole with the weather, yeah. friends, definitely playing whack-a-mole. We got a bright, sunshiny day today. Yes, it's looking gorgeous. Um, Gary's, have... Gary's going to be getting outside and getting some work. I, unfortunately, am not going to be getting it with him today mm -hmm. because all that footage that we took this weekend of the trusses. <laughs> I have to put it all together and I'm hoping that I can have the video finished for you guys by this evening. I know it's going to be a long day in the matrix, like I like to call it, um, of editing. It's going to be a very long day of editing for me because there's, there was, I got myself like five different cameras rolling. Um, there's hours and hours of footage that I have to review and go through and put together. But I'm hoping that by the end of uh, tonight that I can have that video done, get it uploading and tomorrow we can do a premiere party. Yeah. How fun would that be? That would be good. Yeah. That would be good. So that's what I'm hoping to do, and we'll post that video um, on Simple Life Reclaimed. I'm planning on it being a premiere party. If uh, everything goes as planned and I can get it um, edited and uploaded and stuff starting tonight, and then it'll be ready to go tomorrow, I'm thinking that the premiere, I'm probably, what is tomorrow, Tuesday? Tomorrow is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm thinking, i got to look at... Um, in the background of YouTube, we have analytics, right? And you can look at there and you can see when the most people, most of your subscribers are online, um, when they're not generally online. And so that way you can get the most people able to watch it right away, like a premiere, right? Yep. So anyhow, I'm going to look on my analytics, but I'm thinking that it's like, I don't know, five o'clock or something in the evening. Yeah. Or um, or so. So I'll let I'll definitely let you guys know when tomorrow. But I think it's going to be in the afternoon, so that way people can get home from work and then they can kind of hang out and enjoy and be a part of of the unveiling. Because this is a huge thing. It's a huge it's a huge moment for us. And like looking over at the house right now, like it genuinely it looks like a house. It yep. looks like it it doesn't really just look like four walls. And you know, it looks way more done than. <sighs> it ever has been yep. so i'm excited to uh move on to the next steps what you got going on today you're going to start working on the sheathing yep i'm going to start getting that sheathing going i've got four walls to do <laughs> 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 so i'm going to get all those uh done as much as i can um the doorways and the window ways i'm just going to cover it up and tape over it and everything and just have it to where we're not gonna have to worry about water or rain getting in there. Once I get the roof all sheathed up, uh, the one door that we are gonna leave open, I'm just gonna have to make like a makeshift door, is <laughs> 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 the front door. So that way we can actually, you know, get in there and uh, work if need be and whatnot like that, so. Yeah, cause we can always, we're gonna sheath it up and then you cut out the holes for the windows and the doors when it once comes we to that get, time. Yeah. Once we get the windows and the doors, then yes, I'll cut yeah. those out and then we'll we'll tackle each door and window one at a time. So that way we're not stuck in no, uh, you know, rainstorm or something like that when it calls for a beautiful day and then it rains on us again. Yeah, we'd still be <laughs> able to get work going on over there and towards that and stuff. You know, um, we do plan on putting up the uh, the roof sheathing and getting like a roof and stuff on there pretty qu relatively quickly. Uh, the roof yep. sheathing is going to be, well, doing all of the sheathing is going to be like our big major next task because once all that sheathing is done, now we're like dried in yep. and it won't and matter. I got more bracing to do through all the rafters and everything. Like we've mm -hmm. got, I've got the end corners or whatever really braced in and secured and then the middle is they're braced all together but the middle is more less braced well there's not as many walls and stuff connecting everything through and well it's that but it's also i did the sheer strength uh the sheer bracing on the corners so that way the corners are all fully tightened together and everything else like that and when we go to finish from going up one side to the other i can actually continue moving everything how it needs to be and everything but uh that gives it to where if anything happens it's only going to be the middle and they'll be stopped by the the ends you know 
And it's a strong building, I tell you what. We had uh, all those men up and down, up and down, and nothing was wobbling and weebling or nothing. It was no, very stout, very, very crawling stout. Crawling around on those joists like crazy. <laughs> it was fun. The scaffolding came in handy, though. Yes. Tell you what, and the scaffolding, we had scaffolding going on, rolling everybody around. Um, that was probably one of our our best purchases so far those, yeah one uh, of them. scaffoldings because we've used them now for the blocks or we've used them now for the actual cabin portion and we're going to be using it a lot more for the cabin portion <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm actually going to be trying to figure out i'm probably going to have to steal your hand from it if i can't steal uh anybody else but i'm going to move the move those scaffolding out of there i think okay for right now just because I want to do the sheathing and mm -hmm. this front side, it's that's a uh, that's up there. Yeah, it's so, pretty. It's pretty up there, babe. <laughs> yeah, that's up there. So if I put that scaffolding down, then I'll have a good surface spot to where I can walk on. Mm -hmm. and not have to worry about it too much. You know, if you really wanted to get a little tricky, and I could stack both of them together. Yeah, and get up there <laughs> even higher. Yeah. If you want to get real tricky, <sighs> I don't know though. A they're ladders, made to do that, though. They, they are, are made, they're to do made that. for that. They're well, what I'm saying though is, is, like, if I do the bottom, right? Yeah. Then I can grab my 20 foot ladder that just goes up to 20 feet, and I can interlock it, and I can get it pretty close to it. And now that the zip board's on there, I can rest mm -hmm. that ladder on the zip board, and I can slide a piece up and sort of, you know, interlock it where it needs to be. And no, I just, I just want you to be very careful today. Because I'm not going to be outside with you. Um, obviously, get as you know. If you have to do a bunch of measurements and cutting, or if you have to do any of that, that might be a good thing to do today. While I'm not, so that way you're not up in the air by yourself. I want to get the corner. I want to get as much of this done as possible. And I'm, I don't blame I'm you. I'm eager. I am <laughs> eager beaver, and I want to get this done. I just worry about your safety. I know. I know. I, I, <laughs> Now, now, Gary, safety first. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, I don't I, follow the. <laughs> it's funny, I enforced the rules for so long. You're but like. I never followed them. I was always the, the rule breaker. <laughs> like, rules for thee and not for me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I know what not to do. Mm -hmm. I just do it anyway. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, you be careful up there. I know Gary's going to be monkeying around and trying to get his... There's no stopping this man. Once he has an idea, he kind of runs with it. Oh, speaking of ideas, um, I did. we did review all of your guys' comments about the windows and whether we should drop oh, yes. them down and, and all that. So what did you decide, babe? So there was... It was mix on the comments in there it was it's half like, and half i was gonna I say was like 50 50. It, it, exactly that's what i'm saying it's it was like half and half of whether i should change it or if i should leave it <laughs> and a lot of the people that were saying that i should change it is basically the ones that are like if you you'll regret it if you don't it was basically what it would come down to mm -hmm. so me being me i was like well i'm gonna wait i'm gonna see what everybody else thinks once we have, you know, the whole trust party and everything. Yeah, once we have the crew out here. And we uh, had everybody look at it and see. I was like, what do you guys think? Yeah. Because, you know, I'm tall. I'm, I'm building this house for me and you. We're, <laughs> we're a little taller than average. Yeah, and, we are. You know, just counter heights alone, like, that's going to be a little higher than normal. I already know that you and want the that. bed And the bed heights and stuff, too. And the too. bed heights and everything. Um, because, because we do have, we're not putting closets in the bedrooms, and we're going to oh. have drawers underneath the beds. That All the children's beds are going to be kind of capped in bed style. No. Um, so that's that and to consider it, right? Yeah. So. so, I mean, so all that being said, everybody is saying, you know, honestly, I, I have to leave them where they are yeah. because of all the furniture and everything else. And then the kids are going to be able to look out the window regardless. And we did have Roxanne up there. Uh, Roxanne mm -hmm. gets another MVP of the day award because yes. not only did she get her booty over here and help us out a lot with lifting and just being a helping hand, but she made all the food. Yeah. 
Yeah, me and Gary, we went to the store, we bought all the food, but Roxanne prepared it all, and we all know that that is more than half of the yes. battle. Yes. So Roxanne <laughs> made sure that we all were fed. Um, she got it, you know, made all the, the lunch, and she also put some stuff in the Instapot for dinner. So thank you, Roxanne, the Country Road yes, Crew. Yes. Love you. That was amazing. Um, but I'm mentioning her because on the last video, I was joking, right, saying that it'd be like up to her eyeballs, and yeah. she wouldn't be able to see out of the window. Well, we had Roxanne come over. And I'm all, sis. While she was up there. Yeah. We were like, what sis, do you think? <laughs> can you come over here to this window? And she's all, yeah, what's going on? And I looked at it, and it is high. It is high up on her, but I was definitely over-exaggerating. It's not up to her eyeballs. It's not that high. No. But it's like probably chest no. height or so for her. So it is high. Yeah. It is high. Well, the bottom seal... Once, but I'm, I mean, not, I'm not bothered with it. Gary's not bothered with no, it. We just were kind of seal, overthinking it's again. It's 46 and a half inches, basically. Once it's all completed and all said and done, that's where the bottom seal is going to be. Mm -hmm. Now, code says, you know, 44. <laughs> <laughs> so, trust me, I know about, I know where the code says and everything else like that. And there's some things where it's like, yes, but that is more, that's a different reason why they say that than anything else. But... I've seen windows where it's two inches off the ground. And to me, I'm like, yeah, that's like that's, water that's is going to get too low. In. Yeah. So with the height of where it is and everything else, I'm happy with it. I'm happy you with know? it too. And, and why you're put happy your, with it, then I'm, I'm, I'm not changing it. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I know that you were like <laughs> picking apart my sigh or whatever. I and, was picking apart your sigh. But I didn't say anything and I wasn't sighing like, because oh, no. you know me, I'm outspoken. I if I didn't like it, I would say I didn't like it. No, I know, but you know. I, you know as well as I do that it's the hardest thing to read you 100% of whether or not I'm like... Oh, come on. I think I'm an open book. I'm an open book, right? I'm not hard to read. <sighs> You're... I don't, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> I really don't want to go down this rabbit okay. hole, babe. Okay. I love you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. I hear you. I hear you. Well, I'm happy with it. And um, <laughs> if you're happy with it and I'm happy with it and it's our house, well, then yes. let's just leave it. Why put ourselves through all the extra work and the headache of all that? Um, At the end of the day, you eased my, my comfort level of you know you not being happy with it you said that hey everybody else is happy with it everybody else is good with it and you seem not bothered by it no. and it seems to be i'm the one that's bothered by you with thinking you were, that, you were, or me yeah. thinking that you were bothered by it yeah whatever. you were overthinking that you were trying you are trying stop overthinking <laughs> you're such a sweetheart and you want to make me happy and you are doing your absolute best and you're killing it babe and you're killing it i see i see that <sighs> It's just you being a amazing, dedicated husband, trying to do everything in his power to make his wife happy. But you, you perceived a uh, an unhappiness yes. in me when I wasn't really feeling that way. Yes. I was really fine with it. It goes down to the, you know, the same saying as you know, don't assume because you can make a, mm -hmm. you know, a, a butt out of me and yeah, you. A, a S S U M E. <laughs> Don't assume because it makes it A S S out of you and me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. I remember that pl that on the playground. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that on the playground. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, I'm happy with it. I think that it looks really good. The height wise is really good. It's gonna be fine for the kids and um, with all the furniture and stuff too. So that was what was decided because yep. that was what we were talking about on our last one of our last real talks, and we hadn't followed up on it because our brains and our anxiety and just everything that we had going on, right? It wasn't that, we, it was an unintentional gloss over. So yeah. we're trying to kind of come back to it, but. Yeah. But it looks great, man. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm, still, I'm, I'm thrilled. Speechless I'm, re with... I'm relieved. I'm relieved that they're no longer sitting in the dirt, gonna get, you know, muddy and yeah. perhaps maybe moldy or something, you know, something. Hey, the way that we wrapped those ones, it worked out really good. It did. Because not one of those things were wet. Or muddy, really. No. Yeah, not they, one of them were wet. Not one of them were muddy. Not one of them had any. Now the floor trust. Now the uh, the floor joists. <laughs> that was a little. <laughs> those were, that, those that sat a for story. a little longer. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating them to be here that quick. They I was came like, very Holy fast. Crap. <laughs> All right. I should have held off on that one. They came very fast, and we were not 100% ready. I think we still had concrete to get poured or something. We were like... We were, 
we doing had, the uh, last few blocks and they arrived and we still had to finish up a, a row or two of blocks and then we get were it filled. On row seven. We weren't even there. We yeah. were on row seven and they showed up and I was like, uh, I yeah. screwed up. I ordered them too early, I Way guess. Way too early. And the reason why I did was just because of all the stuff that was happening with the chains of everything. And, you know, I was even told it was going to take about two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, You're all, I don't know. I've heard that before and I haven't seen something for like two months. Yeah. So if I order them now, then it'll be all right. Well, it's, then... it's tricky trying to figure out what's right <laughs> and like the when of everything mm -hmm. with the supply chain being uh, as damaged as it is. Yeah. You know, because sometimes it's like feast or famine. Sometimes you go in for something and there's an overabundance of one item and then you go in a week later and it's, you know, slim pickings. Oh. And so that's that's another reason why we've already explained it a couple of times, but that's another major reason on why we didn't put the doors and windows in until after the building was already standing because we had all this wood. We knew we wanted to get a move on setting up, um, framing the walls and stuff, but we hadn't had an opportunity at that point yet to oh. go into town we live very far out of town guys and go and drive around and see what was actually in stores um, we have been back several times since we started the framing and each time we're going through those aisles and we're taking an inventory on what they got and so far it hasn't changed so they're keeping stock on those particular items it seems the items that were hard to find for mm -hmm. the basement are now readily available. Yes. And it's easier for us to go and get certain things. Yeah, because when, when we were doing the basement, I tell you what, we couldn't, it was very slim pickings. Yes. Very slim pickings. We were driving around multiple stores in one day just to find a window or a door or anything. And they'd all be gone except for like the very bottom of the bottom, you know, Super uh, R value ones. windows where it's like, I don't want to put those in. They had those, and then they had the giant, like, you know, $2,000 ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or it was like, oh, I can't. Massive I can't. ones or the most cheapest Rinky throwaway deep. windows yeah. that you would put on, you know. Yeah, so there was no in-between at that time when we were doing the basement. That's why we were so, like, apprehensive. But I think that, you know what? There's more than one way to do things, and um, the way that we're doing it, I'm very happy with it. We've never proclaimed to be professionals. Uh, we are definitely not. DIYers DIY at the it. full list of... Uh, we do our research. We read in the comments section. We reevaluate our personal situation and our desires and skill level or whatever, um, and we decide what's best for us. Yep. And I'm, I think that we're doing a bang-up job. I'm happy with it. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, super yeah. happy about it. I'm really happy with it. I still can't believe that we got those trusses up there. Yeah. I can't Thanks wait to for you all guys. You family. Yeah, I, I cannot wait to share uh, the video with you guys. I have gotten it into Premiere Pro. I have started organizing the files and stuff, but I have not gotten into the nitty gritty of the editing yet. So as soon as I finish this, which actually we got to wrap it up. No. Um, just because I know I could see Scarlet over there. We got to get going. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to start finishing that up today. I will post a community tab update. I'm going to look at all of our analytics and stuff, and I'll figure out a time of when I'm going to premiere it. But it will definitely, for sure, be premiering tomorrow on Simple Life Reclaimed. So stay tuned for um, a community tab update. Maybe we'll do a short. Maybe we'll do something. But there will be something um, on Simple Life today to announce when the premiere is going to be for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys can join the premiere party. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, as Gary was saying, thank you so much to the family and for everybody coming out and helping us. It was great. It was beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it other than it, the beauty of family coming together to help each other out was uh, amazing. absolutely amazing. Amazing. And all of your guys' support in the comments, um, all of your guys' support that you've been lending to us and also to our community members, we really appreciate that, guys. It definitely helps to lift the spirit up and it helps to give us a little bit more fire to, to go get them, right? Um, and again, I want to say thank you to everybody that did offer their help um, and that was with us in spirit. Yes. We really appreciate you guys for loving on us and caring about our project and wanting the best for us. I see it and we thank you for it 
And uh, we just love you guys. Yes. So I can't wait to share this video with you. I can't wait. I got to go and put the work in. So we're going to get off of this thing so I can nope. jump in the matrix and make it happen. But we will be posting a premiere party tomorrow on uh, the main channel, Simple Life Reclaimed. Keep notifications turned on. Ooh, um, buddy. We'll be letting you know when. <laughs> we'll be back here on Real Talk uh, with SLR with another new episode as well. Um, we have a lot more to share with you. It was a crazy weekend. I know we mostly just talked about the trusses today, but there is plenty more that we would love to share with you guys. So I hope that you stay tuned and you check us out tomorrow for a new episode of Real Talk. And uh, join us tomorrow for that premiere party. So until then, friends, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.